Samuels of Hearn Sports Center. It's Fox 44 Sports with Matt Roberts. Hey there and good evening to you. Welcome live to Wildcat Stadium here in Temple where it's the early signing window for Division One teams across the country. Three Temple Wildcats that played on this field right behind me going on to play at the next level starting with TJ Franklin. He's staying close to home. He's going to go play his football right down the road for Coach Matt Rule and the Baylor Bears. Jared Wiley, a guy that you saw slinging the rock from quarterback here at Temple. He's going to go play tight end for Tom Herman and the Texas Longhorns, a top 10 recruiting class for the Horns. And then uh, Markel Reed, he will play his football on the blue turf in Boise, Idaho, going to play defensive back for the Broncos. All three of them thrilled to be playing at football's highest level. Uh, it's a blessing. You know, I always, you know, had a dream of playing for Baylor. I grew up learning football, watching Baylor. So uh, it's a blessing. And we're all just happy. Uh, you know, the, the recruitment process went really smooth for me. And that, you know, that's a blessing in itself. But to go to a place like Texas, you know, it's really something special, and I can't wait to get up there. I talked it over with my mom, my parents, you know, uh, my, my big brothers and all. So being a little far from home wasn't a problem. Down the road in Belton, Devin Martinez headed right down I-35. He's going to play for Coach Jake Spavital at Texas State. The Tiger could not be more excited to be a part of the new era in San Marcos. Uh, he took over, and I was like, kind of iffy I didn't know because I, I had a uh, like relationship uh, with her but he came over and he was real nice and he said hey, we still want you here so we just got to like him to him. And over at Colleen this morning DJ Dormy is signing with Houston Baptist. We've seen him making big plays for the Roos over the last several years. He's going to he signed today rather alongside his teammate Roquan Thompson. He is headed to play at Tulsa. Congratulations to both of those Roos. Elsewhere this morning China Springs record setting running back Eric Hart. He made his commitment to Northwestern State. His coach at China Spring Brian Bell saying that the Demons got a steal. Eric looking forward to putting his blazing speed right to work in Nacogdoches. It's great. It's unbelievable. It's just a great opportunity. Like you said, not, not a lot of people get the opportunity. It's just great records. <laughs> great records, of course. I mean, everybody wants to do that. So that's my goal. Brian Bell's brother, Sean, helping the Baylor Bears reel in another solid class this year. ESPN has the Bears as the 36th best class. Rivals has them as the 34th best class. Moving up late this afternoon. Well, their highest ranking, along with 247 Sports, who also have, has them at 34th. All three major recruiting services have a consensus that the Baylor Bears are the fourth best recruiting class in the Big 12. Jimbo Fisher and the Aggies showing what they can do with a full recruiting cycle. ESPN had them up as the second best class in the nation for a while, but they end up giving A&M the third rated class behind guess who? Alabama and Georgia. Rivals also has A&M third behind the dogs and the tide as does 247 Sports. So a great haul for the Aggies who signed a majority of their class today during the early window, much like the Baylor Bears. So lots more to talk about coming up tonight at 9 o'clock because in about an hour, the Mark Panthers playing for the state title at AT&T Stadium. They will take on the Groover Greyhounds. We'll have those highlights and much more from a busy signing day later on, on Fox 44, in Fox 44 Sports. Until then, though, live in Temple, Matt Roberts, Fox 44 Sports. All right, thanks, Matt.